Joe with Joe Lee Farms in Ecuador. Welcome back to the channel. So uh, we wanted to show you what we do on windy days here in Ecuador. And today is a very windy day. Uh, hopefully the microphone will block out some of the wind noise. Um, but we've been uh, saving some lettuce seeds. And the seeds, the lettuce that we like is uh, called Lovelock. We brought it with us from the States when we came. And uh, it's a wonderful lettuce we grew in our greenhouses in Texas. It handles the heat very well, and that's why we like it. Um, it does get kind of warm here sometimes during the day, and other lettuces can tend to bolt. Lovelock is a very nice um, bib style or head style lettuce. Uh, a little bit of a crispness like romaine, but at the same time, sweet and buttery like a butterhead. And it's uh, kind of red and green. I'll put a picture of that up here. And it's a great lettuce. We like it. Not available here in Ecuador. So we're saving the seeds from it. We let some of the plants seed out. And when they seed out, they um, put this nice little uh, fluffy little seed heads on there. Hopefully you can see that. And so that's what contains the seeds in there. So as soon as it has those little white fluffy heads on there, it's time to harvest these guys. We let these dry out quite a bit. And this is really dusty, but we're going to do this here in the wind to try to make it go downrange. So I put it in a five gallon bucket, shake it real good like this. Try to get all the seeds off those heads that we can. Whatever's left over on these things, we just throw to the chickens and they love it. You can see some of that chaff and dust flying off there. It's a very dusty thing. Probably not a bad idea to wear a mask when you do this. All right, I think we got most of that. What we're gonna be left with here is a lot of plant matter, chaff, some of the little fluffy parts of the seed head. Um, but the seeds are all gonna be in the bottom of this bucket as well. So we've got here a little sifter. Um, this one's got pretty tight holes. Uh, it doesn't need to be that tight, but we like to use the sifter. And we'll just dump this right into the sifter here. Notice I've got it in a bucket in case we spill anything. I got a little tub right here. Ooh, the wind is blowing today. So I'm going to try to get downwind of this just a little bit. And I'm just going to run this through the sifter, bounce it around, and the wind should catch the chaff and blow the chaff away. The chaff is old dead plant matter or the little fluffy parts of the seed, the little feathery part. And we're going to try to bounce that in the wind. The heavier part, which is the seed, should stay behind in the sifter and it's just a very uh, patience process that goes on here. I can show you what we got. It's full of uh, chaff and seeds and everything else in there. You can blow it with your mouth if you don't have any wind. You can set up a fan that works real well. Yeah, I'm going to be covered with this stuff, no doubt. Not good for the allergies. All right, we're starting to get somewhere. I'm holding the other tub underneath in case I spill out any seeds, I'm catching them so we don't waste seeds. But I tell you, from two stalks of lettuce plants, we'll get a couple thousand seeds without a problem. Now, we're getting down here where we're getting a lot of the chaff out, and this is actual lettuce seeds. Hopefully the camera will kept capture that. But those are actual lettuce seeds left in the bottom. Still got some chaff in there, but we've got lots and lots and lots of lettuce seeds. So the question is, how many do you need? Well, many as you can get, I would say, because we like to share with other people and get other people to grow the products that we like. These lettuce seeds, when stored, are going to last about six years. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Here's a couple of plants we harvested earlier. This is all seeds in here. That is all Lovelock lettuce seeds. Lovelock is an heirloom. It's uh, got great characteristics to it. Real um, resistant to things like downy mildew, etc. So this is a great product in the U.S. You can buy this at uh, high mowing seeds or possibly even Johnny seeds. Um, down here we don't have it. 
So that whole tub, I don't know if you can see it, but that's a lot of seeds in there. There's probably three or four thousand seeds minimum. And uh, that'll last six years stored in a tub in the dark and a nice cool place and it'll work well. So that's how we save seeds. And, um, you know, it's a messy process, but it's worth it for us because we so love this lettuce. And again, we like to um, share with people. So we'll give a lot of these seeds away. Ooh, the wind. Wind's blowing hard today. So in a little while, I'm going to shoot a little video and show you what some of our lettuce seeds coming up in soil blocks looks like. So I'm going to show you that here right now. So uh, these are our love block seeds that are planted in our soil blocks. Um, we planted these um, less than a week ago. We harvested some seeds and we went ahead the next day and planted some of them soil blocks. You see almost all of them came up, all but maybe one. So yeah, that's pretty good germination rate. 32 soil blocks in here, 31 of them have come up. So um, this is an excellent way to do this. We're having great results by saving our own seeds. And we'll show you what they look like once we uh, finally get some of them that are ready to harvest again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Ciao for now.